what's going on everybody uh, this is Nate with custom made by us thank you for stopping by our website and watching this video on how to create a gang sheet to upload your images to us so we can print them out for you so I use Adobe Photoshop and that's the application that I'm going to use for this demonstration you can use other programs like Canva GIMP Illustrator um, which is an Adobe product as well, but there's there's a ton of programs out there. Uh, GIMP is a free program, a free graphics editing utility that you can download and use. Um, Canva, again, is an online version or an online program. I've not used any of those, so I can't state how they work or, you know, what their processes are to create something like this. So, uh, again, I'm going to use Adobe Photoshop for the demonstration. Um, Adobe is subscription based, so if you do decide that you'd want to use Adobe Photoshop for this, it's I think twenty dollars a month uh, for the subscription, but you do get full access to the Adobe uh, the Adobe Photoshop product. So, and what's nice is when they come out with new versions of Photoshop, you have an entitlement to download and use those new versions. You don't have to keep buying them as they come out with new versions. So, one of the pluses they're having that. Plus, you get support from Adobe. Um, if you're having problems inside of the application or it's not doing something right, you can get support from Adobe. Where if you're using free tools, you're typically not going to get um, support from the vendor. You can get community support, but and sometimes that's great. But I'm just going to, I prefer Photoshop, and that's what we're going to go off today. So let me share my screen with you. When you first open Photoshop, you'll um, land on your most recent projects page. Um, from here, you'll click on uh, upper left corner is new file. And this allows you to create um, the file that um, you need. Um, I normally set this to inches because we want the width of our gang sheet to be 22 inches wide. And then however the length or height of your gang sheet, um, you put that number here. So we're going to do a, a 22 by 60. So that's almost two feet by five feet in length. Um, orientation, we're going to leave it as um, landscape. Uh, 300 resolution. So pix pixels per inch is set to 300. That's the minimum you want this set to. A lot of the times we have clients that send us images where the resolution is like 72 DPI. And that's where this comes from. So if you're sending us images that's 72 DPI dots per inch, it, it's not going to print well. Um, if you like it, if you would like for us to print it, we'll print it, but it's not going to look great. I mean, the quality is not going to be there. So create your gang sheets at 300 DPI mode, leave it at RGB color, um, background contents set to transparent. So by default, I think it's set to background color, um, but mine's showing my last um, choice that I chose, which is transparent. Um, leave the color profiles alone and click on create. So this gives you a um, kind of an artboard that's 22 inches wide, 60 inches long. Um, a transparent background, when you look at that in Photoshop, it's always going to look like a checkerboard. So and that's just telling you that the background is transparent. So if you put images on this artboard and you print it, that background is not going to print because it's transparent background. So I personally like to break up my gang sheets in the quadrants. So on a 22 by 60, I want to cut it down the center and I want to break it up into five equal parts, which is going to give me 12 inches per quadrant um, going up and down the vertical portion of it. The easy way to do that is if you're not seeing your rulers, you can see I got a ruler at the top and on the left here, you're going to go to view and then make sure you turn on your rulers. One thing to mention that I overlooked is when you go to view, view guy or view, and then rulers to make sure you see your rulers. By default, I don't believe um, Photoshop will set it to inches. So mine's 22 by 60, and it's at inches. So if you want your um, ruler to show inches, you click on edit, and then go down to preferences, and then inside here, go into units and rulers. And then there's an option here for ruler. Make sure you set that to inches. Um, it might be to pixels or millimeters, but 
do set that to inches so you have the proper representation of the dimensions of the gang sheet that you are going to upload. So just to give you a little insight right there. Once the ruler is turned on, um, you can drag your mouse on that ruler and drag out, and it brings out a guide. So there's my guide. So I'm going to drag this at 11 inches. That's the middle of my 22, and I let go. So now I have a real faint line at the center of my graphic, which that guide, now I know that's the middle of my graphic. Now the rest of these, I'm not too particular. I mean, I pull them out, I know I need 12 inches. We know we need 24 inches. Um, I don't try to get it right at 24.0. It's just too time consuming. Um, I'm sure there's a, a button I could probably click that would do it. But So we got 36 inches, and then the last one's going to be 48. So 48 inches. So that gives us semi-equal quadrants to work with um, for our graphics that we're going to upload. So I have a dual monitor system. So on my other monitor, I've got a file explorer open with graphics. So I'm going to pull these graphics in and show you how we lay them out. So for this demonstration, I think we're going to use, uh, we've got fall, Thanksgiving, Halloween. Halloween sounds good. Halloween's coming up. So the images that you're going to pull into your gang sheet, you'll know whether or not they're going to be decent resolution for the print based on the size of it when you drag it into your 22 by 60. So right now, if I grab this first one here, bad to the bone, um, and I drag it in, and I let go inside of Photoshop, I can tell by the size of this, this is a good size image because it, it didn't fill up the entire page, but it's not real tiny. If you drag your picture in and it looks like this, that's not going to be a good picture resolution-wise to make a gang sheet. Because what's going to happen is when you take it from this and you drag it to what you want it to be at, it's not going to look right. It's, it's going to lose resolution as you're upsizing it. So the fact that I'm going to hit escape, when I drag my image in and I drop, you can see it's mine's a good size. Mine's actually going to need to be reduced because it's outside of the window. So if I'm bringing it down, I know that's going to be a good image quality-wise because I had to reduce it. When you do that, you're going to have this little box around it with these little squares. These let you resize it. Um, you can drag it, you know, move it around anywhere you want. Um, and I'm not too particular about where the placement is because there's some tools that we use to align horizontally, uh, horizontally and vertically when we get to that stage or to that point. So just clicking away from that image, you'll see this little box goes away. So that image is now set. So now I'm going to grab the next one. I always go vertically in my rows. So I'm going to drop this in here. I'm going to go, okay, this is a good image because I have to resize it down. If you're resizing images up, your resolution of your images is too small and you're making them bigger to fit inside of the 22 by 60. Um, and that's not good. So I'm going to press enter. Enter or clicking away from it gives you the graphic or puts it in there. Um, I'll grab this one. Um, I typically will put one of my corners in one of the corners of the quadrants, kind of like this. And then I just grab that opposite corner and I just kind of pull it down to make sure that it's in there. And again, don't get super crazy about trying to line things up because that's not the goal. Um, so Creep Squad, we're going to get this guy over here. And you can see this is this is real time. I mean, we're not, not putting a whole lot into it. Now, you, you do have to pay attention. If this is a, a gang sheet for some shirts that you're going to be pressing, you know, are they youth shirts? Are they medium shirts? Are they adult, big adult? You know, so you have to look at it and, and kind of go, based on your ruler, how big is this image going to be? You know, if you see that it's, you know, 8 inches or 10 inches, that's what's going to print. And that's what you're going to ultimately end up with. So just pay attention to that as well. So I will grab a, another one and put it in here. We'll go through the whole process because I want you to actually see in a real-time, you know, situation, you know, what it would take. So I'm going to go ahead and grab another one. Oh, I can't. you got to click away from it first. Grab another one, drop it in. 
drag this up into the quadrant, grab that corner. Again, when you're having to resize down, you know, that's a good thing. You know, if you're resizing up, I, I can't tell you how many times I've seen an image where you drag it into the, the 22 by 60 and it's a little blip, barely visible, and you drag it out to make it look right on the, the gang sheet and the, you just completely lose that resolution. So that's, um, you gotta make sure the resolutions are right. So we're gonna pull this one down. Not be, being super critical on this because I'm not, I'm actually not gonna use this uh, for anything. I'm not gonna, I mean, I could use it as a gang sheet off the website, but I'm, I'm, I'm not, because I'm not taking the time that I would wanna take on it. So we just need two more images. I'll grab this guy here. And again, just resizing him so he's inside his box, uh, clicking away from that image so it deselects the image. And then this will be the last one I'll put over here. No, it's not letting me pick that one up. Let me do this one. Howdy, pumpkin. Uh, grab him here. I get it sized. So again, none of these I put in there very carefully. I did resize them. Um, but you're going to want to um, align horizontally and vertically. So one thing I'm doing with my mouse, like zooming in and out. So if I hold down the Alt key on my keyboard, which is to the left of the space bar, if I zoom with, with my scroll wheel on my mouse, it zooms in and out. So it makes it easy to zoom in and out on your game sheet. Uh, the other nice tool is if you're zoomed in, if you hold down your space bar, your cursor turns into a hand. So you now you can drag around you know, while leaving it zoomed in. So you might be doing that while you're working on your graphic. So I'm going to zoom out. If you do Control-0 on a Windows PC, it just fills the, the entire screen or full screen. So we're on the Move tool. So I'm going to select this side of the images by dragging my mouse over them. And now I can align them center. You'll see them adjust slightly. Um, and now I'm going to click this one, which distributes them vertically. And then there's another one here that distributes them horizontally. So now it's lining them up. So now I'll click over here and drag up this side of the sheet. Let go of my mouse. We're going to do the same thing. Um, we're going to distribute um, align horizontal centers. So you'll see them shift horizontally. We're going to use the distribute vertically, and then we're going to use the distribute horizontally. So once I'm in place like this, I know this side of my transfer sheet, when it prints, is going to be fine because there's there's some space on the edge. This side's a little bit close. So for me, then I'll just grab my layers like so, and I'll use the arrow key on my keyboard. And I'll just click it in a handful of times just to make sure I'm not sitting right on the edge of the transfer sheet. Uh, from here you would go to, I typically do file, you can save this as a PSD file which is a Photoshop file so it maintains the layers that you've put into it um, so on and so forth. I'm not going to do that. Um, typically we just want it in a PNG file so for me I go to export and then Quick export as PNG. So you can also do that from here. If you do save a copy um, on your computer, if you're in a location here, you can actually change this to PNG and save it as a PNG file from there. Again, I prefer just to go to File, do an export, quick export as PNG, PNG, give it a file name, and save it. Once you do, now you've got a PNG file with a transparent background that's 22 by 60 has all your images laid out in it, and you know because you had to size your images up to get them in their little quadrants, that all of your images are gonna be great quality. And when you zoom in on these graphics, you don't want them blurring out, you know, where if you pulled something in that's really small and then resized it to fit a quadrant, when you zoom into it, it's not gonna look good. You know, the, the, the edges of the images are gonna look real grainy and rough. So, and definitely you don't want to print that on apparel. 
So, but that's my process for creating a 22 by 60 gang sheet. If you still have trouble or problems or not certain on how to create a gang sheet, um, our website actually has an option where you can use our gang sheet builder. Um, using the builder does cost you a little bit more um, on your transfers because um, we have to pay the company that provides that software to us as well. Um, but it, you can set out a, a 22 by 60, upload graphics, distribute those images vertically, horizontally, horizontally. And then if, you're, if you've uploaded images that aren't the proper resolution, if they're too low on resolution, the system, our system is going to tell you this, the resolution on this graphic is too low. You know, you're probably not going to want to print this. So, but once you get that set up and you confirm and send us that graphic, then you proceed with just going to the checkout and checking out with the gang sheet size that you configured, placing your order. Um, we'll receive your graphic. We'll still review it. Um, but again, we print what you send us. You know, so if it's got a background, it's going to get printed. You know, if it's low resolution and you send it to us, it's going to get printed. You know, so that's just, we want to make sure that you're doing what you need to do with your graphics before you send them over to us. So again, I appreciate you coming by, checking out our website, learning a little bit more about how to create a gang sheet uh, for DTF direct from transfers. Uh, if you need any help, feel free to email us or contact us on any of our social media platforms. Um, and I'm always happy to help you. I mean, I can get on the phone with you, talk to you about some things, um, help you, you know, make sure you're doing things proper before uh, you send us something that's not going to be what you want printed. So I thank you and I look forward to seeing you on the next video.